Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do another uh, student critique. And I was very surprised at this picture because the person who did this picture said they were a beginner. And she was very cute. I know it's I'm holding the picture a little bit different. The book goes in the other way. We're just going to get that out of the way. It's just the way that uh, it's going to look better on the screen. I was very pleased to hear that this person was a beginner because she is an excellent beginner rather than a mediocre intermediate. She hasn't been coloring very long. And I wanted to talk about some things on here that she may not um, recognize and other people um, on the intermediate level should start thinking about and it's important. Um, her shading is really good. I, she was like all nervous and I thought her shading is very well. And you got to remember this is a photo and a video of her picture. So she's got some nicer shading going on, I'm sure, in person. I mean, I have a lot of experience videotaping and filming my pictures. I know what the camera can do to a picture. I could see the subtlety of the shading in here look how it's brighter red and it goes into the darker but you can't really see the lines and this was lovely and th this woman is worried about picking colors i think she's picked colors beautifully she needs to calm down i i thought she did a wonderful job in in choosing her colors she went with the standard primary colors with the uh, secondaries of green and what I'm saying to her is that takes time. Um, it's not your major issue. Take a deep breath. You're picking beautiful colors. Look at the beautiful shading that you did on here for a beginner. Look how, how nice and how slightly blended it is to the point where you're not really heavily noticing any like heavy lines on the flowers. So really, just keep going the way you're doing it. I can't, I can't criticize you on that. Um, she's already said to me she didn't pick a light, um, you know, a light direction, which she didn't know because she's a beginner and she just found me, and so she now knows that that's very important to pick a light direction. So I think if she had picked a light direction, it would have looked even better. There was something on here and. It's a more advanced thing, and I want her to start thinking about um, her leaves. As good as her flowers came out, her leaves, not so much. And I'm going to say this because they're so bold. Her color composition with her flowers was, it was a very muted, um, not a bold in your face version of the colors she could have been using lovely but then she went with this high zebra leaf and i see this leaf i've done this leaf i know this leaf and i never do this leaf anymore um did you ever see the flowers from a bromelade that's what the individual flowers kind of come out from these stalky things going all around the I guess it's a flower or a grouping of flowers I don't really know what it would be called and that's what these leaves really made me like remind me of um, if you look at a rose uh, they're like they're darker they're thin um, the way she has it shaded made it look very thick and heavy. And rose leaves are really not very thick and heavy. I've got many rose bushes here, and they have a very light leaf. Um, she went way too heavy on these lines. And had she gone a little bit lighter on these lines, or very, very light on these lines, um, it would have been way more subtle. Um, she did the zebra. Uh, I guess she picked up the, <laughs> like she picked up different color greens over here, which is not bad. You could do that because God leaves change colors and do all sorts of funky things. Um, but it was just 
too much. And that leads me into talking about composition. Composition is very important. Composition and perspective. There's not much you could do for perspective. Perspective is how the picture is drawn as far as its, its lines are going in the right direction. I don't want to get too heavy about perspective just yet. I'm going to do a whole lesson on it. Um, composition is something that everybody from beginning to uh, most advanced can start thinking about. In nature, there's groups of three, and I think her group of three here is beautiful, one, two, and three, and then there's the secondary um, composition that's going around it, it be, you know, and her color choices were good. What you want to do is pick a focal point, and there could be, a, there's primary and secondary. On this picture, going from the look of the book in this direction, I realize it goes the other direction, but... The red leaf seems like that would be the primary, with these two being secondary and then uh, tertiary, it's, it goes back. This should have been the brightest thing on your picture, with these tiny, slightly muted back, but just as bright. What happened here is you made your leaves so bright that it, they started overshadowing your primary focus of the picture. So now your eyes are actually going all over the place. That is a, you wouldn't have known that because we haven't even discussed this on my channel yet. Um, I'm gonna do a whole perspective composition lesson for you guys um, coming up soon. So many lessons, so little time. But I just wanted to show you guys what this woman did. I absolutely think it's wonderful uh the leaves we are going to correct these leaves believe me you did really well on these leaves and i let me find it what i really like that there was something on the picture so i was looking at it the other direction oh over here i love these leaves you didn't make them green and they look like they're a little wilty and the flower bud may have not fully you know how like sometimes the bud doesn't completely over you know open up and then the leaves on the outside start to um droop a little and that's what this this little thing reminded me of and they're all going into the same stalk it looks like the stalk didn't get enough water and it just these three just died and i and that is perfect in my book it's it's nature being unperfect it's it's beautiful and you started doing it a little bit over here, but I really super think it worked in this direction. If I was going to take maybe a little bit of the green and cut it out over here, this is my favorite area of this whole picture. Secondary, the blue rose. I'm always impressed with blue flowers. They are my absolute favorite, and I do love this rose. So good job. And I will see you guys tomorrow if anybody else wants a, um, a critique. I'm not bad to people when I do critiques. I'm never going to tell you you're awful, but I'm going to tell you the truth so, so that it helps you. I will see you guys later. Take care. But you saw it and you want to see more, hit that like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell.